I really want some miso soup. Oh my god, miso soup! Hello everyone, my name is Kari and I'm your war demon overlord. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make your model go from this to looking like this. I'll be showing you how to use the customization feature in VTube Studio that allows you to change the colors of certain parts of your model. Prior to making changes to your model using the VTube Studio feature, please ensure that the model artist is okay with you making these changes before moving forward. The first thing that you'll do is you'll go ahead and open the model that you'll be using to change and customize. Once you've opened up your model, you'll go ahead and head over to your general settings. Once you've headed over to your general settings, you'll see this option here that says Customize Model. You're going to go ahead and click on that. Once you've clicked on it, this menu will pop up and you're going to click on Customize Multiply slash Screen Color for Art Meshes. Hit Select and you'll get this window here. This window indicates all of the mesh files that create your VTube model. In order to find the parts of the model that you'd like to change, I recommend first clicking on the model in the general vicinity of what you want to do. So in this case, let's say I would like to change my hair color first. So I'll go ahead and click on my bangs. The menu will change slightly, and you'll see here the word bangs. If you click on this eyeball icon, you'll go ahead and see that the mesh will flash a bright red. This will let you know that you're working with the correct mesh that you'd like to change the color of. Once you've figured out what you want to start with, go ahead and click on it, and another window will pop up. In this window, you'll go ahead and choose the colors that you'd like to change your specified mesh. So let's go ahead and go to a red. The window will start you off with the multiply option. When I'm choosing a color, I like to make sure that my multiply is around the color that I desire. Go ahead and click OK. Then you're going to get the screen option, which is a different color to brighten up the hair or to brighten up whichever mesh you're using. So you can see here, if I go to white, it turns all the way to white. And if I go down all the way to black, it keeps it about at the red. And now we've changed one part of our model. Continuing on, I'd like to change the entirety of my hair color. You'll continue to find the correct mesh items that you'd like to change and customize. Remember to click on the eye icon to ensure that you're changing the correct item. So, to ensure that the hair color all stays the same, you have this option at the bottom that says Paste Last Multiply Color. Go ahead and click on that, and you'll see that it'll apply the previous color that you used initially for the bangs, or for whichever previous mesh you used. You'll hit OK, and you'll do the same thing here where it says Paste Last Screen Color. Go ahead and do that, press OK, and you'll see that the hair matches the main bangs that we started with. So now we're going to go through the rest of the items so that our hair color will change completely. And there you go, I've completely changed my hair color on my model. <laughs> and I have red hair now. You can do this with pretty much any part of your model as long as the mesh is here. And remember that they do flash red. To let you know that you are going to be working with a very specific part of the model. Now my horns are also red. Let's go ahead and change my eyes as well. There we go, so it's I3 in my file. So we'll go ahead and highlight that, and let's turn it down, and we're going to hit OK for both. I'm going to find the other eye mesh, which is I2 in this case. Paste the last multiplying color, paste the last screen color, and bam! Now I have demonic eyes! <laughs> pretty much how you customize your VTuber model in VTube Studio using the customization feature. Once you've changed all the things that you'd like to change on your model, you can go ahead and just click OK. That will exit out of that menu, and your model is now officially customized. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful for all of you, and remember to join the Anata Discord if you have any questions, and I hope to see you there. Bye-bye! <laughs>